Let's play Retro Time by Willems Davy for the play date. Eight retro based games. I got this from Itch. It cost one dollar. It's a pay what you want setup. Um, I paid a dollar because I wasn't sure whether I liked the games or not. So a dollar for eight games is already very, very good. As we go through the menu here, it's, there's some nice stuff. There's high scores to be had, the day's high scores, and high scores for each of the individual games. I think that's great. There are three different modes per game. You can play a two-minute sort of retro carousel. Well, it's every game for two minutes, which is kind of cool. Uh, time attack and what we're going to do here, lives matter, kind of arcade vibe. We'll start with this, Bubble Buster. Um, it looks great and the sound is cool too. Controls work nicely. It's a very simple one screen game. You split the bubbles with your harpoon and they split into two until you have reduced them to zero. I have to admit, I don't like this game. The reason being is that there is something about the pacing that makes me feel quite anxious when I'm playing it. I just don't quite like it. It could purely be me. It might be your jam. Maybe you have some heart for this game from somewhere else. I don't know. I've not come across it before. Probably not going to play it again. Block stacker. Aha, now we're talking. I love a bit of block stacking. And to have this on the play day is great. It isn't the best block stacking game um, for a couple of reasons. You can't see which block is coming next. The blocks are all the same color and when the blocks touch the, the base blocks it's very hard to maneuver the block. It doesn't maneuver. Modern games of this type you can kind of futz around with the block right to the last second and I like that part of it. It adds just a little bit of frantic skill and sort of <laughs> random panic to the strategy of your play, as does seeing the block that's about to fall down to. However, I'm not being down on this. It's amazing to have a really nice playable um, block falling game for the, the play date. It, it's, it, the controls are really nice. It's a good pace. It works perfectly well. I'm very happy to have this for sure. So for a dollar, I am a happy camper. I had a look at Color Invasion uh, online and the colors look great. But here, clearly with the grayscale, it's about the patterns. The name of the game is to shoot down the advancing columns before they reach you. You can shoot them down to a nub and get rid of them entirely. And that's the name of the game. It's all right. <laughs> it's fine. It's a mindless shooter. It's almost like the bubble wrap of shooters. Faster Dave. Not keen on this one, I'm afraid. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. It reminded me a little bit of Burger Time, but without the, the running across mechanic, obviously just the layout, that, that era, uh, whenever that was, somewhere towards the, uh, just past the mid eighties, I guess. Um, you collect these floating orb things, you avoid those fellas. The controls are fine. Everything works as you would expect. I'm just not finding it that much fun. So I kind of play this level and then I die. Invaders. Okay, so I already have a fine Invaders game, courtesy of One Bit Invaders by um, Braindead. This one's a little sort of quicker, I think, and uh, maybe a tad more ag aggressive. What I don't like about this is the bullets are tiny, whereas with One Bit Invader they're nice and chunky, so you can clearly see what's going on. And there's more to the other Invaders game too, in terms of. Uh, power-ups and things like that but this isn't bad it's it's a, it's a perfectly good controls are nice the sound is you know <laughs> thought through not my jam but the sound throughout this thing is is actually pretty good every game has its distinct music some of it's quite decent other stuff I'm not so keen on Brick Breaker okay so I've been playing uh, the other Brick Breaker game on the channel a lot so I'm kind of in the flow of this it's a good game. I, I like the sound effects. One one critical remark I have to make is the ball is minute. It needs to be ten times bigger, and this game would be ten times better. Uh, other than that, the physics are good. It all works well. I know these games are ports. Uh, this works well on the play date, apart from the size of the ball, which for me, ah, it, it, is it a deal breaker? A little bit, you know. But I'll, I'll keep coming back because it is an enjoyable game. And it's simple, quick, fun for your playdate. Oh. 
Toadie. We know the genre. One of my first ever games. I kind of liked it when I was very young, but now I don't at all. It's too hard. I just, you know, I die continuously. It looks okay though. The controls are fine, but it, it to my mind, it isn't much fun to play. So we'll move on. Sneaky. <laughs> Guess what it is. Uh, I suck at this game, particularly as I'm playing it now. <laughs> Still, what's going on? You know the deal. Collect the blocks to get longer. Don't run into yourself. Don't run into the wall. The controls are fine. The sound is fine. I'm just not very good at this game. So there you have it. Retro time. Eight games. Pay what you want. I paid a, a dollar. You could pay five dollars and still be uh, getting value for money, I think. Good set of games. Well put together. Well presented.